So for, for those folks who, who say, oh, this sounds very complicated, the, one of the reasons we're talking about this is because the members of the House Republican leadership signed on to it. Correct. All of the members of the House Republican leadership supported Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election and currently are endorsing him to be the next president of the United States. Right. So from your perspective, it sounds like you're saying you don't trust Republican leadership in the House and their conduct in the upcoming election. Look, they, you've had two members of Republican leadership in the House on television this morning. You've had Mike on again claiming that he has the right individually to decide that he's going to throw out millions of votes and ignore the rulings of the courts. You've had Elise Stefanik on this morning talking about the J6 hostages. Um, I mean, you don't have to take my word for the fact that you can't count on these elected Republicans to defend the Constitution. Every time they go out and give an interview, they demonstrate it themselves. Now, Elise Stefanik was on another network this morning. You just mentioned her. The quote was, I have concerns about the treatment of the January 6th hostages. Hostages is a very specific word, and there are well over 1,200 people in the U.S. legal system going through legal proceedings right now for their role in the attack that day. That word she used is exactly the word that Donald Trump uses. And that's why she's using it. And it's outrageous and it's disgusting. And if you if you go and you look at what individuals have been convicted for uh, who are incarcerated, uh, you'll find, uh, you know, extensively. These are people who were involved in violence against police officers uh, in the assault on the Capitol. Uh, and it is really it's disgraceful for Donald Trump to be saying what he's saying, and then for those uh, who are attempting to enable him or attempting to further their own political careers to repeat it, it's a disgrace. And you cannot say that you are uh, a member of, of a party that believes in the rule of law. You can't say that you're pro-law enforcement if you then go out and you say these people are, quote, hostages. It's, it's disgraceful. We have other Republican candidates